In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make a cover for a pack of this Trident White Gum. To start with, you need a piece of Pretty in Pink cardstock that measures 3 and 3 eighths by 5 and a half inches. You want to start with your paper scorer and you want to score this cardstock at 2 inches, 2 and 5 eighths inch, 4 and 5 eighths inch, and 5 and a quarter inches. Once you've scored those lines, you want to take your bone folder and fold it on all the score lines. The next thing you want to do is you want to make these little notches right here in the, so that you can pull out the gum. And you notice that two of the pieces, the wider pieces, are each two inches wide. So I set them, up, set them on your, uh, you can use a ruler or you can use your grid paper. And I just made a mark at one inch, the pencil, on both pieces. Then you want to take your half inch circle punch and turn it upside down and center it over that little pencil mark. And you're just going to punch out just half a circle like that. And do the same thing on the other panel. And then on the small little quarter inch flap right here, we're going to add a piece of sticky strip. Now if you're like me and you have nails and you struggle trying to get the backing off the sticky strip, I just use my scissors, just the edge, and I use it to peel off the little red strip. And then you're going to fold it around and tear those two edges together. Now the side where it has the two notches, that's where you want to put the notch that's on the pack of gum and just slide that down inside there. Now to decorate the front, I used a piece of chocolate chip cardstock. This piece is two and five eighths, I'm sorry, it's two and three quarters by one and seven eighths, and a piece of rich razzleberry cardstock that's two and five eighths by one and three quarters. And this I decorated, I ran it through uh, my Big Shot using the perfect polka dots embossing folder. If you can see that has a little bit of texture added on there. So using your snail adhesive, put those two layers together. Add some more and then I just put it down towards the bottom of the pack of gum on the side opposite the notches. Okay, to get the flower on the front of the pack of gum, I stamped this flower image from the Button Buddy stamp set. I stamped it twice in Rich Razzleberry and twice in Pretty in Pink. And now the outside layer I used was Pretty in Pink, so you're going to take your scallop circle punch, turn it upside down, and punch out one of the flowers. The inside layer, the smallest layer, is going to be in Rich Razzleberry and it's just going to have the circle. So I'm going to cut off the corner right there so that my punch will reach and again using the half inch circle punch I'm going to center it over the middle of the flower and punch that out. So when I did my flowers you can see I did Pretty in Pink, Rich Razzleberry, Pretty in Pink, Rich Razzleberry. So my next layer is going to be 
starting with the biggest one, is gonna be the Rich Razzleberry. And I cut off this outside layer of petals and just went around these white lines right here. And then for the Pretty in Pink one, I went and cut off two of the outside layers and just did these flower petals right here. When you're all done, you're gonna end up with four flowers that look like this, or four different layers. And I added dimensionals on the back of all of them. So you just wanna peel off the backs and start layering them on top of each other. And there's your flower. And again, you're gonna peel off the uh, dimensionals the back of the dimensionals off the biggest flower and you're going to stick it right on top of the rich razzleberry layer of cardstock. And I have it down towards the bottom because I'm going to finish this off with some ribbon at, at the top. And to finish it I have a piece of chocolate chip satin ribbon. I wrapped it around my box. It's about 13 inches long, this ribbon is. And tied it in a bow. and trim the edges. And there you have your little decorated pack of gum. Now if you want to see a written list of the supplies that I used today, or if you want to purchase any of the supplies I used, please visit my website. Thanks so much for stopping by.